So we're starting today doing some keto lasagna. Yes, keto lasagna with pasta, but not just the regular pasta. We're doing it today with the palmini hearts of palm pasta layers. And uh, let's see how it's gonna taste. We went ahead and we adubated, or better yet, in other, in other, adubated in Spanglish, in English, we seasoned. We seasoned the ground beef with um, garlic, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of Italian seasoning, etc. cetera. Uh, now we're just waiting on cooking the meat and then we'll resume with adding the layers and put it in the oven. We are now rinsing the hearts of palm pasta because that's what it says on the can to do. So we're rinsing each one and putting it on the plate. That one is a little broken. The can says one serving per can. However, this looks like more than one serving. Unless you're really hungry, then you're gonna to have to eat one whole can by yourself. This is what the pasta looks like after it has been drained. Um, yes, one can has a heck of a lot of pasta. I thought it was only one serving per person, but no, this looks like it uh, could be even two servings per person. Yeah, Rouse. Uh, tomato basil uh, spaghetti sauce because this is the one where we found that is the least amount of uh, carbs on it um, has I think it has this one has five grams of net carbs minus the fiber uh, four grams of net carbs on it per per half a cup so we added um, I don't know this looks like it's one third of a cup or even less than half a cup to the bottom of the pan. Now we're gonna go ahead and layer the uh, pan with the lasagna, lasagna strips. So we're layering it like so. Now after that, we need to add a layer of ricotta. So the ricotta that we're using is Palio, Palio ricotta. And this particular ricotta has carbs. Where are the carbs? Two One grams. second. Two grams. Two grams, okay. Two, two, two grams, two grams of carbs. I need a spoon. I mean a knife. Alright. That would help. Done? Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and layer the bottom with some ricotta. That's a lot of ricotta. Yes, I like ricotta. And the music you hear in the background is Teal Pulse. Compliments of Alejandro Landaeta. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and layer the other half with the ground beef as soon as it's ready.
Ground beef is a little lumpy. Covered it pretty much so with the ground beef. Now we're topping it with the spaghetti sauce or the pasta sauce or whatever you want to call it. with the mozzarella cheese. The cheese that we're using today is Sargento. Sargento is a little bit stuck together here. Yeah, let's head on right here. All right. Okay. layer of the pasta and now basically you just repeat the whole process all over again until you make two or three layers and this is the final product uh we're gonna go ahead and now and put it in the oven for 30 minutes The oven has beeped, so that means it's ready for the pre, I mean the preheating is done, so now it's ready to be put in the oven. And we're going to put it in the oven for either 30 to 45 minutes, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, nuke it for, I mean not nuke it, but put it in the oven for 40 minutes. And here we have the final product. I haven't tasted it yet, so I can't tell you how good or how bad it tastes but we'll let you know. And we're pairing this with a bottle of a Super Tuscan um, from Cooper Hawks.